We're pleased to be joined by Joe Kaufman, a former committeeman for the Anti-Defamation League, currently running for Congress against Debbie Wasserman Schultz in the state of Florida. Joe, we welcome you here to America's Forum. Thank you so much for having me. We saw, we got the news about the teenagers, and Prime Minister Netanyahu vowed a, a retaliatory action that was taken. What do you make of Israel's response to the kidnapping and uh, apparent shooting of these, these three teenagers who were found dead? And has this administration done enough to support Israel? Well, f first I want to say that I'm wearing this pin. It's a, it's a flag of, of, of America and Israel together uh, in solidarity with Israel today. I, uh, I just attended on Sunday a solidarity rally for the, for the three teenagers and unfortunately, we found out that they were murdered on on Monday, and I was horrified to find that to find that out. Uh, you know, I, I I think when you get hit on the head enough, you you have to tell yourself, you know, you have to ask yourself whether you're going to get hit in the head anymore or you're going to end this. And uh, and I'm not going to tell Israel what they need to do, uh, but my message is to Israel is that is that whatever they do to respond to this, I am 100 percent with them in that uh, this this administration has been terrible with regards to Israel uh, they've they it seems like they've they've helped Israel's enemies uh, at the same time that they've that they've gone against Israel's peace partners like Hosni Mubarak um, they went to war with with uh, with Muammar Gaddafi when a after Muammar Gaddafi had had renounced terrorism and had given up his WMD program during the the Iraq War, uh, they tried to get involved in in Syria. Uh, I think Americans have had enough with getting involved in all these conflicts, and certainly Americans have had enough with uh, with causing more damage than than good over there. Joe, as we mentioned in introducing you, you are running against Debbie Wasserman Schultz, who happens to be the chairman of the Democratic National Committee and who is very outspoken in her own way on a variety of issues. Now, we're going to play for you her response to yesterday's Supreme Court ruling on what we're calling the Hobby Lobby decision. And after we hear from Debbie Wasserman Schultz, we'd like your reaction. Let's take a listen. This is a stifling decision for American women. It's a decision that blocks women from being able to make their own health care decisions. It's very clear to American women, yet again, that Republicans want to do everything they can to have the long hand of government and now the long hand of business reach into a woman's body and make decision, health care decisions for her. Your response to that, Joe? Well, this this is an outrageous statement. Um, first of all, you know when a when a an institution, a Catholic institution, uh, you know, a sh Catholic institution shouldn't be forced to do say to do something that's against their religious rights, and uh, and that's that's this case. Um, but she talks about a, a war on women. Um, the war on women is not some hobby lobby. The war on women is the fact that women can't get jobs inside America. The war on women is the fact that health care is, is through the roof. When you have to have a hospital stay where you wind up paying for, you know, paying enough money to, to purchase a new car in that hospital stay, these are the things I care about. These are the things that the, the citizens of District 23 care about and the American citizens care about. We have to worry about bringing jobs to America, bringing down the cost of health care. Well, uh, on your campaign website, as you continue this battle for the 23rd District in Florida, uh, you, you have a, a statement. Rome is burning and Debbie is fueling the fire. Elaborate on what you mean by that. Well, here you have it. Um, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, all she does is, is, uh, is create, the, she states these, these radical statements and, uh, and she wants a response from that. But the truth is that, that the American citizens, they don't care about these, these, um, these radical issues that she brings up, like saying that, that, uh, that part of Florida is sinking because Americans use too much, too much energy. She justifies thousands of coal mining jobs lost by saying that people are using too much energy and that Florida is going to sink into the, into the ground in a, in a few short years. This type of rhetoric is not helpful in building up America. What we need to do in America is create jobs, build up the economy, build up energy in the United States, and uh, and just and just um, and and uh, and if we build up our energy, we will have all of the jobs. We will have a great economy. We will bring back that revenue that went overseas. 
Joe, as we were taking a look at some footage of Debbie Wasserman Schultz on MSNBC, there was the uh, what we call in the business the super, the caption saying DNC chair. Is there a situation where because she is chairman of the Democrat National Committee, she has to spend so much time uh, doing those things for the Democratic Party nationally that the home folks are, are losing true representation? It's It's been a conflict of interest for Debbie ever since she accepted this DNC chair job. And it's going to be a conflict of interest for her as our campaign moves along. As the polls close, Debbie Wasserman Schultz is going to have to spend more time in her own district, but she can't do that because as DNC chair, she's got to go around the country during election time, uh, raising money for hundreds of, of candidates, not worried about what the citizens of District 23 want. And then when we take a look at the 23rd district, there had to be a rationale in giving her that job, thinking that her, her seat is, quote, safe. What do you say to the political prognosticators who say uh, the 23rd district of Florida will remain Democrat? Well, it's not true. It, it, it may have been true in the past, but in 2012 there was redistricting which raised the number of Republicans and, and independents. Um, as well, you have the independents polling close to the Republicans. Uh, in 2010, the person that ran against Debbie got close to 40% of that vote. That was before redistricting, before the Republican wave that's about to take place. And the, and the X factor in this is the fact that uh, myself and my wife were heavily involved in the Jewish community, we're heavily involved in the, in the Latino community. My wife is born and raised in Lima, Peru. She teaches Hebrew and Spanish in the district. We have Peruvian, Venezuelan, and a Cuban family throughout the district. We've got we've got endorsements from from the leaders of the of the Venezuelan community and Guatemalan community. Um, we're going to take the rug out from under Debbie Wasserman Schultz on during election time. About 15 seconds left. What's your website for the campaign? It's www.kaufmanforcongress.com. That's K-A-U-F-M-A-N-F-O-R Congress.com. Thank you so much. Joe, you spelled it out for us. We appreciate your time, and we're coming right back.